All right. What do you have for us? Ace Sekigara headed for the abandoned factory after tracing the travel log for the, uh, of the motorcycle that he used before. Sekigara requested that Tsukasa Okino back up his own memories. Understood. Looks like I've lost them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. Where do we go from here? We got one interactable. Got the drunkards on the bench. Phone. An old fashioned phone. <laughs> okay. So the numbers were for a message service. I wonder who would have left a message for me. Never mind that last message. <laughs> Everything's gonna be great. <laughs> Hearing this message, unable to remember a thing. So, I've entrusted a message to a good friend of ours. If you seek him out, you'll likely find him with Natsunomi Nami. Looks like I'm out of time. Above all else, finish the job. It's for my... For your sake. Understood? Could it be? What does that mean? That the end of uh, Yuki's story, where she leaves him behind with BJ, is the start of his memory loss? Timeline-wise? Yeah, because then he's like, hey, if... I ever lose my memory. Show me this Show BJ. me this message. And then, bang. So, right there. The can. personality. So, that's where. So, the start of him not knowing who, who he is, is was the that. end of, Yu of Yuki's. Yep. It was after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tying it all up. If that message for myself was true. And Natsunomi Nami is a key figure in all this. She may get me a step closer to recovering my memories. If I can really believe what I heard, that is. I guess I'd better get my hands on that data unit and find out. So he just never got to There's those pills. Investigating of my own on me, Nami. I just need to find her first. Or now, how should I approach this? He got to sell his hands on the wrong pills. Because oh. Ryoko continues to suffer and need those pops whereas he just has a full wipe and then is like functioning fine without anything mm. right like he old a was had the same pills on him and is popping them regularly then he ran out and now he's functioning fine without them but he's fucking lost everything so is it because some pills were there to keep the there's memory. two sets of pills and yeah and some pills were there to like 
There's two sets of pills. Oh, pills on top. Yeah, the NMC0204 inhibits the effect of DD426. Slowing down memory loss. Um, and then... Uh, what oh, about? I thought they mentioned it in some they entry somewhere, right? definitely 100%. 100% they mention a second set of pills. Yeah, I remember that. And sectors, eras, stuff about the era, key items. And I remember we were like, why is this entry so detailed? <laughs> because they're telling us literally the fucking almost serial number of the fucking pills. And I was like, are we going to have to memorize this? Like, what are you talking about? If anything, it would be under Ryoko, maybe? No. <laughs> yeah, she's a drug lady. Right? Maybe not. Uh, I scrolled past A. Lost his memories due to the effects of the code called DD426. Yep, we remember when we were introduced. Uh, anyway. Yeah, you know what? Whatever, we'll find out. But safe to assume, right? Yeah. That he just popped the opposite set of pills. Cool, cool, cool. Gee, I wouldn't mind having Fuyusaka tag along. She may even be able to help me find Natsunami Nami. But I don't want to get her mixed up in all this. Fuyusaka this morning. A girl passed by and said she was going to the track room. Wasn't that Natsunami Nami? I'll wait for school to get out tomorrow. Then I'll head over to the track room. Yusaka's at the front gate. She's still waiting for me. Things might heat up again. I can't drag her into this. If anything were to happen to her, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. God, everyone just fucking brandishing. <laughs> Which is literally a crime, by the way. Oh. How many times have you been shot, sir? <laughs> Fuyusaka wasn't kidding. They're crawling all over campus. Do you just have like a North Star fucking in your chest at this point? I'll check the track room first. Alright, be sneaky. Hey, look. It's everybody's favorite destination. The fucking track room. Can't go that way either. Eh? Then how? Excuse me. Where can I find someone who's on the track team? Oh, well, we're on the track team. But if you're going by everybody who fucking snoops into our room, <laughs> ask anyone on the campus, including these men in fucking big suits, who no one seems to be asking any questions about whatsoever as to why they're lingering around high schools. Do you need something? Like, if a dude in a suit and fucking shades and gloves wandered through the halls constantly... I'd be asking some questions. ...for weeks, would that not be the biggest story in, the, in your school? I'm looking for a student by the name of Natsuno Minami. Oh, Minami? She went for a run around the school. She hasn't come back yet. Yep, that's right. Around the school. Got it. Thanks. The 
that's... She's the one who delivered that package to me. The one that contained the message to myself. Looks like she goes to this school too. Mm. So is this one they wind up in the old building? Oh, maybe well, not. Well, this is the old building way. passageway, so. Go? So I creep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is she messing with me? She's definitely up to something. <laughs> um. Natsunomi Nami. Bastard! Yeah, put the gun Stay down. Away from Nachan. Wait, Yuki Chan. For what? This asshole just held a gun to your face. Stop this right now, you two. Maybe your conversation starter shouldn't be trigger up. <laughs> Just saying. Hello, safety off. <laughs> you seem to know who I am. Care to explain what's going on? You really forgot everything, huh? Just like Shinonome. <sighs> That's why I can't get a good read on you. Hard to tell whose side you're on right now. You two. You lured me all the way over here. What are you planning? Planning? I thought you came for him, right? Him? That's... That's what showed me the footage of myself. Wrong. That's not the same one I gave you. That unit was a different one supplied by the SIU. They're the ones who had it say all those things. SIU? It's where those guys in black are from. Uh, how do you... Just who in the world are you? I'm Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. Are you working with the SIU? Strictly speaking, no. Your ass got fired. Then why cooperate with them? Got no choice. They're keeping tabs on Nachan. <sighs> so those black suits wanted me to see that footage. But why? So this is it. This is the data unit I was told to seek out. There's a message for you. A message? He asked me to show it to you. So, here it is. Not John. Uh. Why? Why did you temporarily erase your memories? Was it because of me? Yes. I can't let them get their hands on this information. My partnership with Peta. My dishonesty. You knew all along, didn't you, Miura? You might not know this, but you're a terrible liar. I guess so. Why didn't you show me the data after it was analyzed? Because you took pity on me? Some things are best left unknown. I disagree. I should know about my own past, no matter how terrible I was. Can you link me to the logs through this message? Shakigahara. Please, Miura. Show me the logs from 2188. Who's the target? Oh, wow. The leading figure in nanotech research. Shihiro Morimura. <sighs> She's a former executive of Newman Inc. Mm. After she left the company. I allowed her to participate in Shikishima's project. 
The project was put on hold, but she continues working on it despite our warnings. Our company will suffer massive losses as a result. That's not the real reason. Excuse me. You pushed for the acquisition of Numenic. And that initiated a backdoor transfer of a large slush fund. What are you basing this on? Morimura's interstellar development project. Here we go. It was one of 12 that were showcased for the acquisition. You used the project as a cover for the real use of your funds. But Morimura's actions threw a wrench in your plans. If an international agency were to catch wind of the situation, they'll definitely launch an investigation. And that will put you in danger of losing your position. Are you threatening me, Sekigahara? <sighs> like I'd waste my time. I'm an assassin. A professional. If I'm expected to perform my job oh. perfectly. And I need every last detail on my target. <sighs> Sector 4. It's another colony that's still under construction. You'll find a research lab there. I'll be heading into orbit myself next month for an inspection. I want the job handled by then. And be discreet. I've just sent over security details for Sector 4. You'll also find a security personnel ID for your use. Eliminate Chihiro Morimura and put an end to the project. First, I'll have to confirm receipt of your payment. What was all that about? <laughs> Uh, can I tell you um, something that's really cool about this game is that I always talk about how one of my favorite things is seeing the passage of time affect characters in a world. Yeah. And, you know, what's awesome? What's better than, like, Ryu showing up again? Ryu with a beard. Right? Yeah. Sakura with a job. Right? Sean. Ken's student. Etc. Right? I like when time passes. Rock Howard, etc. The fact that there's a whole plot line with the adult versions of these characters mm -hmm. and you get to see what they look like as adults is like it's scratching that Shippuden itch right away. Yeah. <laughs> it gives you all the pleasure of seeing what the P4 and P3 characters look like in Arena when time passes. You know, like, it gives you all of that within the same context of playing the story for the first time. Seeing adult version of Seki Gahara being the cold fucking machine that he is Yo. completely and utterly makes 100% sense. Yo, that, on the mission. Follow the mission. What did we say about his personality at the start? Just business. Right? Straight business. Of course that's what he yeah. is. There's nothing there because that's all he ever was beautiful he turned into that that's beautiful and that's what he is now right yeah done and done and done that's the personality show me the money all right let's go um and then of course goto is a fucking full-on ceo scumbag you know so uh and you can see the you can see the through line of like how that type of student turns into that type of dude just being an aggressive winner at life right just just crushing all opposition and and growing that beard out <laughs> along the way you know slowly rising through the ranks um and then doing shit in the background to ensure that failure is not an option right you can see the through line with all of these characters it's really satisfying that that is a part of the plot i love it so what did we just learn so we know who it is. You don't have to question mark it. Yes. But I guess if you, at this point... Oh, game, yeah, if you're... If you didn't do it, yeah. Okay, game, we'll forgive you. Yep, that's fine. Um, uh, so... So here's the message, and then it asks, why did you erase my memory, right? Okay, so first we, first we have... a young one. Yeah, first we have uh, uh, BJ and, uh, and, like, young A yeah. talking about, like what he hid from himself, right? And obviously the truth about his reasons for coming here and doing what he's doing, right? 
Okay. Um, here's what's confusing about this story so far. We get to watch the logs of 2188. Original adult Aseki Gahara is an assassin sent to deal with Morimura. Correct. Yeah. Child clone Seki Gahara is a different person. Adult Seki, Seki Gahara is not running around in the sectors hunting Morimura down. Yeah. This kid is. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> right? Question one. Yeah. Uh, question two. Uh, her involvement... She has a lab on Sector 4, they said. But we know the Morimura that owns the lab on Sector 4 is the is the one that grew up from Sector 0. Not the 2188 Morimura. Let's let's come at it another way. Real world Goto wants real world Eiseki Gahara to assassinate real world Morimura. Yeah. Morimura, as we know her in the story, comes from Sector Zero as a kid with Juro Izumi, mm -hmm. jumps to 2189, puts on the leather suit, grows up. 2089. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Puts on the leather suit, grows up, shoots Juro a couple times. Mm hmm. Puts on a lab coat, ends up in a school. Okay. Starts wiping kids' memories and popping pills. Hangs out with Goto. Yeah. This is her past. And takes a detour, shoots young Ogata in the butt, <laughs> makes her way back to school. Right? Yeah, okay. That person is not necessarily, as far as we know yet, real world Morimura. Because she came from Sector Zero as a kid. Okay. Furthermore, the person whose job it is to kill her is also not the same person who was sent in, right? So, bearing in mind that they're not necessarily aware of who those real adult versions are of themselves, they might not understand the context of those flashbacks because, quite literally, everyone who understands the layers of the truth here is missing the big, big, big picture Right? Everyone that understands that this is all a fake world yeah. doesn't understand actually what's happening outside of the bubble. Right? Okay. So, like, this memory doesn't necessarily apply to the kid we're looking at. It's just where his fucking DNA came from. Okay, yeah, true. That's it. Yeah. And then... We talk about the stellar. Yep. So she's she's responsible for the interstellar project. So she was working on it. There were multiple projects. And Twelve then, were showcased for acquisition. And then she left the company, and she was supposed to stop working on it, but she kept working on it. Yes, even though Newman was acquired by Shikishima. Uh, also, Newman was the act was the nano machine developer. Yes. Right. So Shikishima acquired them for their nano machine tech. Uh huh. Um, backdoor slush fund. Uh, okay, hold on. Allowed her to participate. She left Newman. Allowed her to participate in the in Shikishima's project. Uh, and then whatever. This is what happened. But that's a lie. The truth is, he bought Newman, and then um. Oh right, right, right. Okay her actions throw a wrench in the plans. They're going to investigate whatever he was up to. Perhaps uh, what he's up to and the thing that they would launch an investigation into is the abuse of nanomachine technology. The thing that we know causes a massive problem in the future. Yeah. Right? So Shikishima under Goto acquires the, the nanomachine technology from Newman and then abuses it to do whatever the fuck they do. Yeah. And then shit goes bad. But at some point, it transfers from Goto to Ogata. He becomes the newly president of the company. Doesn't Wasn't it he? from Ogata to Goto? Oh, was it the other way around? Um, I'm... Okay, we'll confirm in a second. And then, yes, go get her. Yes.
them. <laughs> okay, uh, not a whole lot of info going on right there. Hmm. Um, what about what about Ogata Twenty One? Yeah, exactly. He is opposed to Morimura's Project Arc. Project Arc would be the Interstellar Project. That would be okay. the proper name for it, which mm. is something we have heard before. We yes. just uh, had it listed as a different... Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we should look up Newman and Shikishima then, as well as Project Arc. Hmm. Because, yeah, there was... In June 2188, there was the news report about Newman, Inc., and the human trafficking okay. and the tempering. Hold that, hold that, hold that. Let's see if we can find the the entries. Uh, no, I don't see it. Damn, okay, so we don't have any entries on the companies or uh, the project yet. Oh, wait, sorry, I just scrolled by this. This is not updated to talk mm. about the modern 2188 version of them, though. Fortunately. Okay. Uh, Newman was also not listed here. Okay, so what do you got? Uh, all I got about Newman was uh, when they're talking in... Um Sorry, they were saying in 2188, they acquired um, in March, Newman was acquired by Shikishima. And in June 2188, there was a news report about the trafficking. These are the only two things I have about Newman. Okay. Uh, right here, we have an entry that on the Interstellar Development Project. Uh one of the projects Shikishima ran, Shikishima ran, Shikishima Institute started a project, 8834, doesn't refer to it as Project Arc here. Mm. Uh, that's Morimura's, specifically. Um, but I mean, interstellar terraforming tells you what it is on its face. Go far into the space, find yep. the planet, and um, make it habitable. Mm-hmm. You don't gotta guess what that what that is. Um, do you remember what scene what you're describing came from? Uh, I think from the story of Renya Goto. Was it Goto seeing his adult self? The Newman stuff occurred during the story of Renya Goto, with the news report and um, the flashback to Newman being acquired by Shikishima. The start of his timeline. Goto is the buyer, the Shikishima buyer in the future in 2188. But I forget oh, when we see um, Nenji Ogata in the future. Revelations don't really phase me anymore. Oh, this is new. <laughs> okay, that's a check. That's a that's a flavor text we didn't get last time because I couldn't skip it. And this was Tetsuya Ida revealing the, the factories and the production. Mm. <laughs> and Goto's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and you know what, dude? That's the right energy. <laughs> Keep that same energy for the rest of the game, dude. Because that is absolutely how you got to go into this. This These grand revelations don't really phase me anymore. This is the right way to be at this point in time. <laughs> How many times do I have to rewrite my understanding of reality? Fuck it. Just tell me what I need to know. I checked on the plants in Kolkata. It's time. The year 2188. In other words, far in the future. Even more so than our current temporal position, 2104. Let's see it. See, like, he still thinks that that time frame is the future. Right? At this point, I yeah. guess, yeah. The data is from 2188, the far future. He still thinks that. Yep. They all Doesn't know everything yet. Future scan. Four 
dawn on the 20th, eight Newman Inc. executives were taken into police custody. Charged with human trafficking and illegal cloning, their established motive was to tamper with human memory. Authorities consider this an organized effort and are pursuing further charges. Mind hacking crimes have been on the rise in recent years. By exploiting nanomachines such as interlocitors, malefactors can overwrite stored memory information in cerebral synapses. This technique has recently been used to enable other associated offenses. These arrests come after a string of similar cases, including culprits criminally downloading memories onto another body. Evidence suggests these are attempts at a kind of technological reincarnation, and we've already seen more than 460 arrests connected to this practice. Hold on. by Shikishima through a takeover bid. This happens. Shikishima CEO had this to say. After. Newman gets in trouble for bullshit first. June 2188 is when the crime occurred. I found one more log. The March and, and March before okay. they acquired. Never it. mind, other way around. Yeah, that, that's why I said they okay. acquired it, and then later they were like, "Oh, hey, what are you doing?" So then, yes. Yeah, so then Shikishima took over and then ran some fucking bullshit, mm -hmm. and then Newman took the flack. Yeah, in theory, even though Shikishima's acquisition is the is the clear. Nanotechnology has made leaps and bounds over the 22nd century. Now. Even the human body can operate with all the power of a supercomputer. Interlocitors have paved the way for humanity's next step in evolution. For any one of us, all it takes is a thought, and we can have the world itself at our fingertips. With the brilliant minds at Newman driving our nanotech business, we look forward to a brighter future for Shikishima and all our affiliates. With this acquisition, Shikishima now sits among the top three in global market share of interlocitors. They didn't reveal his name here. Mm-hmm. Three months prior to the Newman was acquired with these interlocitors, they've become one of the world... They kept up. You think that's the nano machine? Most likely. So Shiki. At least we know we this all began in the future after all. Mm -hmm. In my Still. notes I see that Nenji Ogata was opposed to Morimura's project arc. Yeah. In twenty one eighty eight. Yeah. And there's a conversation that occurs between, between the astronaut uh, Minami and, and adult old Ogata. Nenji Ogata. Yeah, and he and at that I think that's where we find out about the him being the new the new president. So this happens um where we see Nenji Ogata leading Shikishima and he's opposed to Morimura's yep. project arc, that occurs during the story of Megumi Yakushiji. Okay. I'm not sure in which context. Okay. Uh, we'll check in a second. Yeah. Uh, but here, important to note that everyone behaving, including the Morimura that we know came from Sector Zero, still is talking about 2188 as if it's the future. Mm. So, like, she can't have been fully informed on the, on the situation yet. She's operating with the most information so far, but she doesn't actually have that key. Interesting. 2188. 2104 is the furthest we can shift into the future. It's a shame, but I don't think we can verify this ourselves. Hmm. I think we should drop this lead for now. Better to focus on protecting Goto-kun's hometown instead. Maybe so. Best to return to the school in the year 2064. We'll need the cooperation of the other two compatibles. Go to Kun. We should focus on putting this. I hope you can. Sure. Protecting his home world. So he's from 85. He's from Sector 4. Okay. That's why. Also, it, I mean, it obviously, this is known information, but just to recap that their whole we can't shift any further into the future thing is just because, like, yeah, of the four cities, the four and furthest in the future, the present day is 2104. Okay. So there is no future there. You get that, right? Yeah, okay. 
Um, like, you have four options, you have five options yeah. to shift between. Mm -hmm. uh, six if you include Sector Zero, but whatever. Yeah. And the one that represents the furthest, uh, like, pocket of time. That we can access is like 2104. 20 and anything beyond that would require a sixth sector taking another gap in time into its, you know, uh, uh, into into representation. Okay. But that doesn't exist. No. Nope. So 2104, when you shift there, you're still just present day. You're just sitting in 2104 yeah. representation world. Mm -hmm. But it's like that's, so they, you know, it's not time. It's yeah. obviously it's location. They just, so yeah, but they're all in the dark. Is, is, Which is, is the, very is the surprising important. Yeah. at this point. Yeah. Well, it's not. But it's important to note that, you know, we, the viewer, have been shown scenes from space. But they haven't. The closest we got was Shu floating up to it. But we haven't actually, you know, had anyone fully discover the truth just mm. yet. Or if someone does know it, they're not sharing. So, um, Megumi Yakushiji. Yeah, there was one thing with uh, Megumi Yakushiji, and there was one thing with Natsuno Minami as well. Um, yeah, uh. so in the story of Natsuno Minami, there's a future log from 2188. And Minami talks with adult Ninji Ogata, and they're saying like there are 117 planets prospected. That was that was the fucking that was the one of the big reveals yeah. actually, uh, if I remember correctly. Ships carrying DNA and uh, six million people being moved. So we could actually use the um, the dots to help us find it. Maybe, or maybe not. Ah, fuck. Oh, um, that was in the destroyed city of 2065 when uh, they found uh, a scout and they destroy it and they read the brain inside that says... Shit okay, so then left. it would be part of this. Yeah... Broken BJ, mm -hmm. not not actually BJ. BJ! What happened? What happened? That's right. His. As long as it's, I'm sure I can. Is this? I think. <laughs> She's not. It's a robot. That sound. <gasps> BJ, but wait, it was a diff. You have number eight, a remote control type. Mm hmm. Yep, yeah, so this that. <sighs> Were you made? You're just a robot. You're no alien. Isn't that. Yeah, I bet this is... Uh, does that mean... Short-legged. I... No. They're heavy... But why a robot? They are not... Yeah. This place... No. It is a, a lack of... Okay. ...the basis. Huh? All right. Go on. There are 117 planets under consideration for the project. Consideration for terraforming. Mm-hmm. Of those... The top prospect is a planetary system 12 light years away. I don't think this is going to work. Aren't you the professor's daughter? Yes, I'm helping with the layout. Didn't say what mm, month what this year took place in. Yeah, unfortunately. For the migration ship, it looks quite small. In the harsh environment of space, it is not possible to sustain life for extended periods of time. The ship will be carrying only our DNA. In the final phase of the project, humanity will be restarted. So we're creating aliens. 
How large of a population are you estimating? We're planning for six million. And you really expect me to approve of this project? So the so the the reason why these clones exist is for that purpose, right? It's to populate a really far flung distant terraformed planet with human life that has DNA from these existing donors. Mm. So it shouldn't ever matter that there's copies of people because they're light years away from each other. Unfortunately, that's not what's happening. And the situation we find ourselves in yeah. is one where all those clones are sitting in fucking the same <laughs> spaceship <laughs> a couple of miles apart from each other. And the world below is all fucked. So now we're looking at maybe using this as a means of restarting Earth, as opposed to terraforming uh, 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 life out there yeah. and sending these clones away from each other, where they could safely, like, coexist without overlap. If you just listen to my mother's explanation, it is not necessary. This endeavor is nothing but self-satisfying. It is impractical. Now that my father has passed away, there. I'm the one in charge. The research will be disposed of and the funds suspended. You can't! Oh god, the son, please! This was recorded in 2188 with Natsuno Minami's ID. But we don't know when. Mm. A communication but between Natsuno Minami. I remember just thinking, like, if Goto is that old. And then he says, my father passed away and now I'm in charge. It kind of could logically be that he took over for old Goto. Oh, here? Because that's Ogata. Yeah. And he took over his f after his father passed, right? Yeah. But when did Goto step in? So the plan was started, and then they tried to shut it off, and then Goto came in? Well, uh, that, that, that's the, the, the plan being started and finished isn't the point there. The point is more so, when does Ogata take over Shikishima? Okay. Does he take over Shikishima before Goto or after? Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Right? And I'm saying, Goto, old man, big long beard. So did he pass, and then he's the adult? Sh adult? Fucking Ogata says, "Daddy dead. dead. I boss now." So you're saying that Nenji is the. I don't know, baby. man. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> he's <laughs> talking to someone whose daughter is another character. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> Does the fucking prosecution rest? <laughs> You got any fucking claims to throw to bring to the stand? To say otherwise? You son of a bitch! Your Honor, I would like this court to go into recess. <laughs> so that I can convene with my client. Let's find the other one. Uh, that's actually, that's I think it happened in the analysis that they added. Uh, they added information to the analysis about um, old Goto during Me Megumi Yakushiji's arc. Yeah. Um, no, they really didn't. Or was... Oh, I mean Ogata, sorry. Yeah. Nah. Didn't say anything. I we, we Let's find the other scene he was in. Um, and y you're sure it's under Yakushiji? It happened... Uh, we, I uncovered this information during Yakushiji's arc. Okay. Which happened right after we we did Natsuno Minami and we saw the scene that we just visioned and then after we did Yakushiji and it added stuff to the analysis. Okay, but you don't remember you didn't you didn't mark uh no what scene it happened no. during. Okay. Uh let me just go through this one more time. Because I marked that it was analysis, it might have been something that we read after and I added as a note. So um, there's a chance that we might not be able to find it. And it was just spotted into the analysis. Fucking Fluffy's gotta be an extension of fucking Juro. It's gotta be. Yeah. It's gotta be. He also, he's, he's also because, behaving like an asshole. Because, yeah. 